It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in this video, I want to talk to you about why Isaac's Magic Defense skin does and does not matter. Probably the last video I'm going to make about this whole situation, because this hero is insanely complex. The game itself is overwhelmingly deep on who you could be going up against, when and why, is this skin great versus this team? Is it great versus that team? There's a lot of exclusions and exceptions that goes into this and I'm here for it. I love it. Whether or not it's the right thing to do to level this skin up remains to be seen. It is a possible 10,650 magic defense out of his max 22,585 magic defense. To keep that number in mind, 22,585 is his max. But we now have proof, at least on one aspect of the game, that this magic defense skin absolutely does does not matter. So I'm going to show you a couple of screenshots here from something. I'm not going to call out who they are. I'm not trying to go in on anybody. I'm not trying to, you know, start a fight or anything like that. One of the very curious things about Osh is that he's effectively three separate sets of enemies. He's Osh himself, right? The baby god Osh. There's the defensive spheres, which are the little floaty ball things that shoots the laser beam magic damage that we're also concerned about. And there's also the nightmares, right? And we have this stat sheet right here. And this is the only thing that we have to go on. You can see level 115 all the way up to level 160. 860 million roughly is the health of the level 160 boss. And you can see this number right here, 80,000. 80,107 is the magic penetration that Osh supposedly has. So if Isaac can only get 22,000 magic defense, then really does it matter that much? Well, we didn't know. We didn't know if the defensive spheres had their own set of stats and it appears like they actually don't based on the screenshots that we have. The defensive skills may be part of Osh. They may be separate, but from what we can see with these screenshots that I'm about to show you, it looks like this magic defense skin doesn't matter at all. So to start with, let's just show you a quick screen grab of a of the skin page just to show you that this person does have a little bit of the skin leveled up. Here's a screen grab of the 860 million health boss. This is the level 160 health boss doing 7,586 magic damage per hit. Now, just as a quick recap, these little defensive spheres, they do magic damage to your frontline hero. Osh also does an area of effect physical attack that's like meteor storm or meteor shower i don't know what it's called and then there's also the nightmares mechanic and the portal behind your team mechanic but generally speaking you're trying to kill the defensive spheres quick enough and also keeping your tank be it isaac or rufus or aurora or whoever it is alvinor keeping them alive long enough so that your team can do enough damage so this is before the skin was leveled up by that individual. And then here's a screen grab from today. You can see that the magic damage from the defensive spheres is doing 7,586 damage with that bonus magic defense that Isaac has picked up. So again, the point of this video isn't to flatly, plainly state that the magic defense skin is bad, but I can tell you with 100% certainty now that the magic defense skin will not help lower or weak or mid-tier players get access to higher level Osh Bites. This skin will absolutely not help you versus the 150 and 160 Osh fights. So if that's the reason why you're leveling it, then I believe that it is a mistake. That is now a solved argument to me. And I think the only thing that we really need to worry about now is should you level the skin versus various arena and guild war matchups, which, you know, I think I'm leaning towards yes and no, <laughs> both still, but more testing is gonna be required. Probably will not do another video about this until we know a whole lot more, probably in a couple of months, if at all. I want to thank the other content creators out there, Misty Catherine Coco from Hero War Secrets, and a couple of others that are putting out amazing content around this topic. There's a couple of more that I think are pretty good as well. A lot of great Hero Wars content creators out there now, much better than it used to be. Anyway, so hope everybody is having great luck against Osh this weekend. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.